therefore identifying narcissists early and avoiding them, as well as addressing the most harmful parts of your attraction to narcissists particularly, are crucial to breaking the pattern. Halting the cycle. Finding narcissists early in dealing with the parts of yourself that are drawn to their manipulation are key to breaking the cycle. There are five steps in this. 1. Conquer old injuries. You must first and foremost heal your past wounds if you wish to stay away from narcissists. This could entail counseling, attending a retreat, doing a lot of introspection, or even speaking with people from your past, such as your parents who may have harmed or mistreated you. They get more about healing than blaming. Nobody among us is perfect. But until you deal with the hurt from previous relationships that clouded your understanding of healthy love, you'll likely keep sinking into the same muck. 2. Boost your self-assurance. As I mentioned, narcissists thrive on people with poor self-esteem and those who feel they must accept any attention given to them or that they are somehow unworthy. Increasing your self-worth and confidence can therefore be the keystone of your strategy. I suggest the following suggestions to increase your self-confidence. Increase your focus on your strong points. Acquire new skills. Do activities you enjoy. Make new acquaintances and try out new things. Run, work out, and eat healthily. Spend time with those who love and care for you. Prioritize your own objectives and concentrate on what makes you happy. Help others by volunteering. Travel, experience different cultures, and explore. To find the truth, learn more about spirituality and your personal journey. Find your purpose and mission, then pursue it. Don't settle and exercise patience while you're single. There are various strategies to increase self-confidence, but the key is to get rid of the things that make you feel like you need approval from others. Pay attention to the things you can manage and the things you can make happen with your own efforts. 3. Remain inside your limits. Sticking to your limits is the next step in figuring out how to stop associating with narcissists. If you stop respecting a border, it becomes apparent that it doesn't even exist. Obviously, this is easier said than done. There's always the chance that you'll just try it one more time or change. However, you must genuinely adhere to your boundaries and be prepared and able to shut things off when they do. Which leads me to my next point. How can you tell whether a person is narcissistic or not? 4. Look for warning signs. The next thing you should practice is recognizing narcissist red signs. Playing the victim and shaming or guilting you if you don't do things their way are a couple of examples. Being totally tone deaf to your worries and viewpoint. Continual adoration, affirmation, and attention. Being consistently sexually or emotionally selfish. Being irrationally envious or possessive of you sabotaging your successes or playing down your achievements. 5. Be willing to walk. If a narcissist can tell that you don't have the guts to leave them, they will test you to within an inch of your sanity. You need to be truly willing to leave if the relationship becomes toxic or pathological narcissism emerges. Remember that you do not have to put up with toxic and abusive behavior. Even if you truly love your partner, it is up to them to treat you in a way that adheres to basic respect and decency. You have the absolute right to draw your own boundaries and stick to them. If you are dating a narcissist and he or she is mistreating you and manipulating you, you have the right and obligation to yourself to leave that relationship. Start by speaking up and making your concerns known. But if you continue to be treated in this manner, you shouldn't put up with it. That takes me to my final point. 5. Be prepared to stroll. A narcissist will push you to the limit of your sanity if they suspect that you lack the courage to leave them. If the relationship gets poisonous or pathological narcissism appears, you must be genuinely willing to end it. Keep in mind that you do not have to tolerate abusive or destructive behavior. It is up to your partner to treat you with basic respect and decency, 
even if you sincerely love them. You have the complete right to establish and adhere to your own boundaries. You have the right and duty to end a relationship with a narcissist if they are mistreating and controlling you while you are dating them. Keep in mind this. You'll get the love you secretly believe you deserve in the end. Know your worth, get rid of narcissists quickly, and have confidence in yourself. You should be in a fulfilling relationship with someone who also deserves your care and affection if you want to experience true love.